Sometimes you find yourself in the most unlikely of situations. Just a few days ago, I was sitting at my desk, tired, bored, and burdened. Then came this email from Indian Motorcycle India, and I find myself here in the middle of a beautiful scenic valley, riding a big cruiser and making my dream travel film. Six days had passed, hundreds of kilometers on the highway, nice hotels, and meeting the kids. It had been a hectic schedule. Our six horsemen. The Indian motorcycle owners had this noble idea to go all over the country, meet organizations that provide girl-child education, and aid them in achieving their goals. The CEO of Polaris India, Mr. Pankaj Dubey, provided the support, and a group of bikers had set out from Delhi for an epic ride. But I guess you already know all of that if you've seen the first three episodes, and you're just waiting for the story to move on from Mumbai, where I had concluded the third episode. A lot had changed that day. Shruti, Sonia, and Sohair had decided to quit the ride for personal reasons. Overnight, the riding group had become much shorter, and even then, we were subdivided into two parts, two small groups, and just 150 kilometers to Pune. Early morning confusions and a few U-turns followed by the mandatory fuel stop. We were back on the highway and heading straight to Pune. A few stopovers, and we caught up to the rest of the group. And heading straight up for a few kilometers, I found the stretch of road that I had been waiting for this entire 2,000 kilometers. I think I scraped something. This is what I've been waiting for all through the day. This is what I was waiting for. The cards. Oh man, I love this. An airplane. Same thing kind of happens here. And uh, it's it's nice. Uh, this bike has a lot of torque, so I was pretty certain that this bike would keep up in the corners, even with the pillion and the luggage. I do want to pass them now so that I can show you some of the other riders if possible. But it's going to be risky to pass a rider riding that big a bike on that narrow a road. That session in the twisties had my blood properly flowing, and I felt Pune was just a few minutes away. But then it was time to eat our second breakfast of the day. Stopovers had become the norm of this ride, and it was not something that I was very comfortable with. as it was a long break of an hour back on the highway it was another session of spirited riding and though the road to pune wasn't like wide expressways that we had seen so far they were good enough to maintain reasonable pace and reach the pune bangalore highway on which stood our hotel the hotel was again very plush and luxurious and we just wanted to get some rest before the evening biker event meet in the evening we had the local bikers get together It was great to meet some of my subscribers there. I hadn't seen much of Ahmedabad, Surat, or Mumbai, so we set out for a ride on my subscribers' bike to get around in Pune. Almost all the cities that I've ridden in, Pune has probably the worst traffic conditions. All my subscribers from Pune, I give you a special salute for being on two wheels in such utter chaos. Pune has always been a little bit too crazy for me. The ride next day would be to Hubli, and it wasn't really that far away, just about a 500 kilometers. Early morning, coming out of the hotel in Pune, I found the roads to be wet. It had rained overnight. My first day with the scout on wet conditions, I decided to take it easy. Pune to Bangalore is one of the most scenic highways. That, combined with 80 kilometers per hour cruising speed, I thought it was going to be a nice. And slow ride. Of course, the groups had moved ahead because they had more speed that day. And for one day, I was certain that I would be the one to reach late. But it was not meant to be. Up ahead, after riding an hour or so, we found that they had stopped. Every day, the story was the repeat telecast. My non-stop riding and reaching the hotel hours before others. The route to Hubli was beautiful and scenic. 
And traveling through the highway, I thought about the kids that we had met on the way. Oh, they got scared. We managed to reach our hotel, the cult, by 1 p.m. Just in time for lunch and at least four hours ahead of the rest of the squad. It's always nice to catch a great nap after such good food and then waking up to the sound of the v twin motorcycles and the rest of the squad arriving. It was more than just us. A lot of riders had joined in from Belgao and they were really happy to hear about our cause. They even bought our promotional t-shirts, the proceeds to which went to the charity of Girl Child Education. One reason for this ride was to inspire people to take up their own causes, do something, even if it wasn't girl-child education. After so many days, I can tell you that a lot of riders have taken up their own causes and they are doing more for charity. It had to be something that they were passionate about and not necessarily our cause. The next morning was different, but why, you might ask. It was my last day with the group. Apart from the cow incident on episode 1, it had been one of the easiest rides of my life and a great overall experience. I was kinda sad to let go, but I had wanted to fly back from Bangalore and start working on these films as soon as possible to share my story with you guys. The plan was to ride with the group, finish it off in style, and I found myself riding and shooting with interest and vigor of the very first day and even nature posed gracefully that day. The beautiful weather and the greenery on both sides, hills as backdrops and flowers blooming so close to the highway that you could actually touch it. The group stopped quite a few times, but we had a rider on the Domina 400 joining us. His ID is Motoman on Instagram and he and Akhtar wanted to roll on and I was glad to find two partners like them. And for the final time in this tour, we disappeared together into the sunset. I honestly thank each and every one of you who has seen all of these four episodes. I know these have been long and I'm grateful for the time that you decided to spend on this channel and give me the support. I know some of you have complained that I'm not getting enough views and even I'm bothered about that, but the comments that you have left on all of the videos has meant a lot to me. You can share this video or the other videos with your friends and recommend me and it would mean a lot. Hey guys, we are here in Bangalore and this is the Indian Motorcycle Showroom. I have all of these lovely people coming here to meet me and I'm feeling really honored. I'm really sorry that in the other cities we couldn't do this. We were so busy riding, but I'm ending my ride here so I could plan it out a bit. 
and I'm here for the next few days so I guess I'll meet more people and this is the end of the third film it's been a great great opportunity to showcase all this great cause right to all of you guys I hope you guys will like this hope you guys will hit subscribe and uh, share this video hit that bell icon if you're a new viewer here that's it goodbye Woo.